Okay, I'm having another bad day. Bloody as usual. And this is really bloody. Uh, yeah. I walked through the woods. I walked through this creek area over here and I just got stuck in this patch of... I just got a lot of these thorns all over me. Now this is a strange lot. There was ten houses here. Five on this side and five on this other side. It's um, pretty much an entire city block. But I probed more than a thousand places. And I only found one hole. And it's a really big one. I dug it already four, maybe five years ago. And it had some good stuff in it, but it was so wide and so deep, I didn't dig it all the way to the proper width, or did I dig it all the way to the bottom? So, hopefully today, I'm going to get it, and believe it or not, a one-of-a-kind drugstore came out of here. Okay, we got the hole about three and a half feet wide and about three and a half feet deep. I am just now getting to the first bottle. Uh, it's a jar, but did I break that hole in there? Uh, I kind of think I did, but it's okay because it is the most common. It's the 1922 or 23, the last of the blue balls. Maybe a five dollar bottle. Oh well. And almost an hour later, another jar finally coming out. It's the same kind. But this one is old. So, early 20s. We're getting down there. We're getting to the lair. And in case you couldn't see this piece right next to that, it's the top of a jug, so that's definitely pre-1912. We're definitely getting into it. Yeah, it's all coming out of this little corner. Well, we got a uh, oval plate for a hotel. It just has a little chip. So, I don't know, should I keep it? It depends how much stuff I find. Yeah, there's a big hole, and it's it's not even fully dimensionalized either. But I think we're about on the last foot. I found a slick pharmacy, but at least it's mm, blown in a mold. Mm -hmm. We have something coming out here. Seems like a whiskey jug in it. Feels like it's intact. But that means the hole would go at least another 10 inches. Hmm. We've got some big amber medicine. It's uh, slick. I think it's machine made. Can't tell. It's so muddy. Okay, we're getting there. We kind of got a few more inches to go. Okay, we're getting some kind of a, well, a broken bottle. No way, it's a machine made down there at the six foot. Mm, that's weird. Okay, I think I have it now. Huh. Look at that. I got a whole gallon. Still got all the 
handle and no chips so that's pretty good okay we got some large medicine it's a 16 ouncer oh jeez it's just a Nile quality it's a uh, probably 1919 Okay, some type of crown top. And it's a beer. It's got to be a 1919. Or a 1918, but it's definitely a later one. Okay, we've got something. Seems like uh, an oil lamp. Small one. Hmm, kind of a weird one. But it looks to be in good shape, so that's a pretty good score. It's too bad about all this water. We got some kind of a some kind of a bottle. Okay, we got some kind of plate. Great, I broke it. Well, it's already broken in plain anyway. All of a sudden, a soda came out. What kind is it? Mm, minimum contents. Something, 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 something. Bottling works. Does it even have a city on it? Whoa, hold on. It's a Mount Olive. Uh, it's a pretty plain looking soda, but the fact that it's from Mount Olive makes it valuable. It's got a ring neck. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen one of these actually. So it could still be worth a hundred dollars. Okay, we got some kind of uh, another medicine. And it's just uh, a plain O-seater. Yeah, it's definitely 20s. Or, I guess it could be 1919. Okay, looks like we have a, a gallon whiskey jug. Yeah, like that. Some kind of... Uh, one of those from the late teens, I guess. Oh my god, it's embossed. Please be intact. Please be intact. It's embossed. It's got a picture of. Wait! Oh, uh, that's a White House. What? That's a White House. How could that be in there? That's usually from the 30s. Mm, strange. But still, a good looking bottle. Break this. It's a gallon size too. I don't think I've ever dug a gallon one. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, we definitely have over a hundred dollars worth of stuff today. Cause this. I mean, that's got to be at least thirty-five dollars. It is really detailed. 
and it looks to be in perfect condition. Yes, really bold. Okay, we got some kind of a cylinder made of ceramics. Uh, maybe it's a half gallon whiskey this time. Well, it's not really a crock. It's some kind of a pipe. But it sure looked like a crock. And I got this kind of an interesting piece. This is weird. This is actually machine made and it came out just a few inches from the bottom. Okay, I found one of these. Gotta be about 1920. And uh, a ketchup. No, it's not. It's something different. Oh well. Okay, looks like a uh, soda. Just one of these. It's a Scott Tomalsh and it tricked me with that sort of crown top. This is just one piece of fancy glassware. I found quite a few in here already. And we got uh, whatever that is. Okay, it looks like a coffin flask. Uh, it's broken. Yeah, four fluid ounces, and uh, it is blown in the mold. So, I might bring it back anyway, because it's almost whole. Okay, I found a fancy stopper. So, that's uh, probably worth $5. I also found another one of these. And whatever this is. Some food product, I guess, or maybe a candy container. Well, it's right at six foot. But only it starts out round around the top, and then halfway down, it uh, turns to square. So square. So, that's it. It's not quite as big as I thought it was, so... It wasn't that loaded because it was only the bottom foot only the bottom foot had stuff in it because we already dug the first we already dug the first five feet so but sometimes it's just that way but definitely more than 120 dollars worth and it was kind of muddy down there it has been raining a bit well it was only 20 bottles but well who cares at least we got over a hundred dollars worth on the bottom foot so that was good so until next week okay the first bottle it has some kind of sticky stuff inside of it but after a little bit more cleaning i shall do good with that so i'm gonna say it's got to be worth at least 25 probably 30 dollars and this one and this one is a coca-cola product and it's probably from 1918 or so it's from mount olive so that's a pretty good one even if it's only worth fifty dollars it's still over a hundred dollars worth we have this jug it's got to be worth at least 25 also. And it could use some cleaning, but it is what it is. And uh, So just the top three bottles are worth $100 at least. Don't you wonder why that guy from Below the Plains, who's such a popular YouTuber, why doesn't he say how much his bottles are worth? Especially all those hutches from North Dakota. I mean, come on. Who knows what those are worth? We kind of want to share your joy with you, so tell us what your bottles are worth.